Hi everybody, welcome to the Coding Zoo. This is the CSS Building Blocks series. In today's lesson, we're gonna cover how to set the height and width of different elements in HTML using CSS. If that interests you, hey, stick around. We're gonna jump right in. Hey, thanks for joining everybody. This is your first time joining. By the way, my name is Shane. Our goal at the Coding Zoo is to help others learn how to program. On my desktop here, I've got an index.html page. I went ahead and set up a couple of divs here. We're gonna use the divs to demonstrate height and width. Now, keep in mind the height and width properties pretty much can be used on most HTML elements. We're gonna use them on a couple of divs and put a border around those divs so it'll be easy to show you how things are working. So I've got a div here, it's called example-width, and I've got another div here, it's called example.height. Uh, let's go ahead and let's look at those two. Refresh, okay. Here's my first paragraph. It's a little bit of text there. Notice how the div, of course, it spans all the way across the page. It's a block element, it's taking up the whole line because we haven't put a width on it yet. And here's the other div, again, taking up the whole line. So let's go back and let's manipulate the width and the height of these two divs. All right, so I'm gonna go into a CSS file that I have attached, style.css. Here's our example width ID selector. I'm gonna add a width property to this div. So W-I-T-H and let's do a width of, let's say 600 pixels. I'm gonna choose to save it. Go over here, click refresh. There we go, now the div is 600 pixels. You can see that it only went so far out and the text went to the next line. We were able to specify a width and make sure it didn't go past that width. Let's try a different value there. I'm gonna change it to, let's do 800. Let's see how that looks. All right, so we can see that the div is now 800 pixels. Um, it went to a width of 800 pixels. Now what happens if I move this browser around? I just set a hard width of 800 pixels. Look at there. So the div actually goes off the screen and it's not flexible. Now let's change it up a little bit. So let's change it up a little bit. Instead of a width of 800 pixels, what if I just set a maximum width? So that's the largest I want it to reach, but it can be smaller. What will happen then? So instead of so instead of width, let's use max width. Let's see what happens. We go here, click refresh, and there we go. So the div is actually less than 800 pixels, but when we expand this out, you'll see it, it will not go greater than 800 pixels. So that's our max width. So you can use width to specify a particular width and make it stay at that width no matter what or you can use max width and specify, hey, this is the largest I want it to get. And that way it has the flexibility to get smaller if it needs to. Now there is one other width property I can use. Okay, let's grab this browser again and let's make it smaller. Now I've still got it, where do I have it? Yep, okay, I still got it on max width and I'm gonna make it smaller and smaller. Now, what if that is too small? What if I didn't want to allow for it to get this small? How can I fix that? Well, there is a property called min width. So I'm gonna set a min width. And let's do 500 pixels. I'm gonna click save, back to my browser, click refresh, and there we go. You'll notice it went off the edge there. So it will not get larger than 800 pixels, but it also will not get smaller than 500 pixels. Well, let's see, there we go. So see, it only got so small in width. Uh, pretty neat, so you have a, a width, which sets it to an exact width, you have a max width, which says, hey, it can only grow this far. 
and you have a min width which says, hey, you can only get me this small. Pretty neat. All right, let's jump over to height. Let's check out the height property. All right, so I'm gonna go to this example height ID, a name selector, and I'm gonna add a maximum height. Well, first, let's play around with this browser some. Let's see how far this will grow. There we go. So it grew this far. I'm going to add a little bit more text in there so you can see, uh, get a better idea of what I'm talking about. So I want to put a little bit more in there. Save it. Go back. Refresh. So it grew a pretty good bit, right? Maybe we don't want to get that tall. Let's go ahead and change it up. I'm going to add, well, we added width a few minutes ago. I'm going to add height. I'm going to add height to this name selector uh, for that div, example height. So I'm going to do height, and I'm going to put 300 pixels, and I'm going to click Save, Refresh, and there we go. So you'll notice the height is now tied to 300 pixels. I can scroll up and down. Now, the reason I can scroll up and down is because I set this property overflow. Uh, I set it to auto. Now, if you're not familiar with overflow, I did a lesson uh, a few weeks back on that. I'll put a link below or at the end of this video to point you to that lesson. Pretty good stuff. You should definitely learn how to use overflow. Um, all right, so let's go back. So if I spread this out here, you'll notice the div is actually too big. Now I'm using up too much space. So instead of making this div automatically be 300 pixels, well, what can I do? Well, I can do the same thing I did with width. I can put the maximum height allowed to be 300 pixels, not the height, but the maximum height. So if I do that and click Save, go back, click Refresh, and there we go. So now it's only using enough space that it needs uh, for that paragraph. It's not wasting space. If I go back here, you'll still see it will not get larger than or, or taller than 300 pixels. So that's an example of using max height. Now let's say that it was possible for this text to get um, very small as far as the height. I'm gonna remove some of this text here. Click refresh. Now notice how small this div is now. Perhaps I don't want that div to be too small. I want to be able to grow in height and only reach a certain height, but I don't want to get too small either. So what would I do? Well, same as the width, I'm gonna use a min height. So I can go ahead and set a min. And I'm gonna do 50 pixels. Click save, control S and refresh. Now you'll notice that it jumped a little bit there and made it a little bit taller and became a particular size. So this is as small as it'll get and the 300 pixels is as large as it will get depending upon the data. So for width and height, we have a width, max width, a min width, and we have a height, the max height, and a min height. Maximum height says you can go this far, this tall, you can't go over that, but if you don't need that much space, I'm not going to use it. Min height is, well, don't make it smaller than this tallness. Don't make it smaller than this height. Same for width. Width says be this exact size and width. Min width says don't be smaller than this. Max width is, hey, you can go this far in width, but um, you don't have to, right? You don't have to use that space and waste it. Those are the height and width properties in CSS. I hope that makes sense. You can use these with divs, images, you name it. You can pretty much use it on most HTML elements. It's very useful. I highly recommend to play around with different type of HTML elements, try them out, see how you can uh, manipulate those elements. That's it for today's lesson. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, leave me a message below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Definitely check out thecodingzoo.com. We will have the code to download from there in the next few weeks. Uh, and we have a list for other lessons out there. I hope this lesson was helpful to you. If not, go ahead and click dislike and let me know how we can improve these videos to help you learn how to program. That's our goal at the Coding Zoo to help others learn how to program. 
if you like this video hey click that like button and tell people about us we're here to try to help people and we hope this is helpful uh and if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to click that subscribe button below and let you know when our next videos come out hey thanks for joining us this week uh we appreciate you uh checking us out we hope you have a great week see ya